Hey friends, welcome back to another Friday Faith Foundations episode on the Robin Graham Show. I am Robin Graham, your host, a business growth strategist and coach, and I'm on a mission to help you grow your business with simplicity. No matter how you define success, I'm here to help you achieve it. Do you avoid asking for help? Perhaps asking for help makes you feel uncomfortable. Even if you don't want to ask another person for help, did you know you have a guide already inside you? Like an internal GPS? And help is always available to you from the Holy Spirit. You need help to succeed. It's a reality. As humans, we are not meant to live, work, and do things alone. And most people enjoy helping others, especially those in leadership roles who are genuine, successful leaders. Data suggests that when people help others, they're more likely to be successful. I'm linking an article from Forbes that describes that, that, that proves that to us, and you can access that in the show notes. One of my favorite verses in the Bible emphasizes our need for help. Ecclesiastes 4, 9 through 12 reads, two are better than one because they have a good return for their labor. If either of them falls, one can help the other up. But pity anyone who falls and has no one to help them up. Also, if two lie down together, they will keep warm. But how can one keep warm alone? Though one may be overpowered, two can defend themselves. A cord of three strands is not quickly broken. In the New Testament, we are given the gift of the Holy Spirit as our counselor, helper, and guide a gift not to be taken lightly. Jesus even told the disciples that someone greater than he would be coming to help them. Can you imagine the humility of Jesus? Someone greater than him. The person that just rose from the dead. As believers, we are truly blessed to have the triune God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We are never alone. We always have help. In John 16, 13, we learn. But when he, the spirit of truth, comes, he will guide you into all the truth. He will not speak on his own. He will speak only what he hears. And he will tell you what is yet to come. When we ask the Holy Spirit for guidance or help, He doesn't follow his intuition. He gets his knowledge from God, the Father, who speaks to us through the Holy Spirit. If we didn't need help, would Jesus have given the Holy Spirit to us? He knew that life would be challenging, too challenging to bear on our own accord. Similar to the disciples, we live in a world that can easily persuade us to hide to run from our faith and remain silent instead of witnessing. It's much easier to fly under the radar than to proclaim our faith, especially in this cancel culture that we live in. Likewise, it's often easier to do what we think is best instead of asking God for direction. The Holy Spirit has a way of waking us up and helping us realize that we need him. We need God in our lives if we want success in life, relationships, business, if we want peace, or if we desire hope. For us, everything seems impossible. But for God, everything is always possible. In 1 Corinthians 2.12, Paul tells us what we have received is not the spirit of the world but the spirit who is from God so that we may understand what God has freely given us. 
oh my goodness, the power in that. We are free because of Jesus. And we have hope because we were given the gift of the Holy Spirit who never leaves us nor forsakes us. He is our helper and guide. We need him and his gifts of wisdom, understanding, counsel, fortitude, knowledge, piety, and fear of God. Fear of God being fear of being apart from him, not fear of punishment. The Holy Spirit is our guide. Every inch of my being needs his guidance. You can think of the Holy Spirit as your internal GPS, sort of like intuition, but so much more powerful. You'll feel, like, feel him nudging you and leading you. Okay, so I will be the first to admit that I'm directionally challenged. My kids have said to me, mom, if you think you should go left, go right. Is there anybody else listening that feels that way or that is like that? I don't know what happened, but that whole north, south, east, west directional compass inside me does not work. I must have a source of GPS if I'm going to get from point A to point B safely and in a reasonable amount of time. Now, this is not the case if I'm in a geographical area that I'm familiar with, but if I'm venturing into new territory, you can bet that there is absolutely zero question I need GPS. The step-by-step -step directions. Turn right in 0.5 miles. Stay on the 202 Parkway for 5.6 miles. Then turn left at the light on Plymouth Road. And your destination will be on your left. And sometimes even with that, I get confused and I make wrong turns. But I don't only need the type of guidance, that type of guidance when I'm going places. I need direction, knowledge, and wisdom in my business and I need these gifts in my life and my relationships too. Similar to how I'm prone to going the wrong way when driving, if I don't have guidance, I make the wrong decisions. I choose the wrong things. Sometimes I choose to say the wrong things. You might think, so what? You'll learn from your mistakes. And that's true. But if I have the option if I have a guide already there for me, why not ask for the help that I need so that I don't have to spend time recovering from mistakes? After all, don't we all want to save time, energy, and money? Having a guide helps us achieve that. On average, humans make 35,000 decisions a day. I'm linking an article in the show notes from psychology today that you can refer to. I don't know how anything anybody or anyone gets through the day making all those decisions without help. Holy Spirit, help me is a common phrase out of my mouth. And what's super cool is that I can also ask for help from other humans. And sometimes the Holy Spirit speaks to me through them, through other people answers, my questions, and prayers in conversations. Think about it. If you have to make all those decisions alone, won't it be taxing and lonely? The perfectionist and control freak in me wants to say, I've got it. I can make them alone. No problem. But time and experiences have proven that I must humble myself and ask for help. I go further, faster when I have help. And people like to help, so why not ask for it? Between other people and the Holy Spirit, you can achieve more with less stress in less time and with more peace of mind. No one will judge you or lose respect for you if you ask for help. In an issue of Inc. in October of 2018, Marla Tabaka shared six ways to make asking for help easier. 
I'm linking that article in the show notes as well. So you guys can go over to the show notes and click on any of these links and have more information at your fingertips. But in summary, people are eager to help. They want to help, but they don't want you to assume that they know what you need. Ask with confidence and be transparent with your needs. In addition, share why you chose them to seek help from. Why do you respect them? Why do you trust that they will give you the help that you need? And don't make it transactional. People want to help and they don't have expectations that you owe them if they help you. If your business isn't growing at the rate that you had hoped it would, what's the problem? Often, we don't know what we don't know. Thus, the benefit of hiring someone to deep dive into your business to help you identify what's holding you back. Sometimes these things are minor and there are simple fixes. Other times there could be a lack of clarity on the business owner's part or the potential client's part. Either way, it's imperative to get to the bottom of the problem before it compounds or becomes more complicated and the result is more time intensive or costly intervention. Before you make a worthwhile investment and hire a coach or mentor or consultant, be sure that they are aligned with your mission and your values. As you know, I am a Christian business coach. I call myself a Christian business coach. I work primarily with Christian business owners. But here's what you need to know. Not all Christian business coaches are equal. Not all coaches, consultants, or mentors are equal. Each coach will have a unique approach to business growth and how they work with their clients. Some may focus on mindset. Some may focus on marketing and sales. Some may focus on systems and processes and automation. Many have cookie cutter programs and follow what their coaches have taught them. The efficacy of those coaching programs, the results of those coaching programs is not as robust. And that is why I customize everything I do and for my clients. Many of my clients are in the health and wellness sector, but none of them have the same business model. None of them have the same needs. Therefore, our time together never looks similar. It's always unique to what's going on for them and their business at that time. In addition, I have to add this. When I say Christian business owner, I am referring to to business owners who believe wholeheartedly in the gospel, in Jesus as their Lord and Savior. And they have a mission to witness and glorify God through their work. Their faith may not be forward-facing in their business, and that's fine. That's completely okay. We are, aren't all called to that. But their heart is for Jesus. There are a lot of misconceptions these days about Christianity. And I think it's because of the online space, but it's probably been this way for many, many, many years. But some people who claim to be Christian are online judging, criticizing, and ultimately outwardly, outwardly causing more harm than good. Doing so will not bring people to Christ and in fact, ultimately pushes people away, farther away, turns them off and makes them think that Christians are hypocrites. The reality is we all live in sin. It's not our place to judge and criticize And the other thing that I want to talk about is that people who claim to be Christian but are justifying astrology practices or tarot card readings as a means to grow their business are not basing their business on the Bible, on God's word. They're not not building their business on a foundation of faith. And the result of that is being on shaky ground. It's almost like quicksand. And I'll link another episode where we go really deep into 
the new age practices. But this is where discernment really comes into play and is so important. Don't invest in a coach who has new age practices or speaks of manifestation without God as the center of their life and business. It's dangerous. The best guidance is going to come from the Holy Spirit as you discern. If a coach or person claims to be Christian, but is displaying behaviors or saying things that your intuition or your conscience says are not in line with God's word, Question them before working with them. Ask the Holy Spirit to guide you in making the right decision. Read scripture to confirm what they are saying is in line with God's word and his purpose for you. If you think you are hearing a message that it's okay to work with someone or do something, but your conscience is triggering hesitation, again, seek guidance. You need the most powerful GPS system in the world. And that is the Holy Spirit. Listen for him. He may whisper a scripture verse to you. He may speak to you through a friend, mentor, or colleague. Listen, ponder God's word and its meaning in your life. God's word is the primary way that the Holy Spirit speaks to us. And this is why I did the episode a few weeks ago where I said, we need to stay close to God's word, always. That's how we stay safe and secure. That's how we avoid being led down unhealthy roads that Satan is just tempting us to follow. We are called to discern and make choices that are God-pleasing. We don't want to fall into the traps laid by Satan. The best advice that I can give for the best chance to succeed in life and business is to seek the help of the Holy Spirit and the, to seek the guidance that you need. Don't worry about being judged, but get the help you need. The bottom line is that we all need help to succeed. And what we believe determines our opportunities for success. By nature, I am a helper, a teacher, and a problem solver. My entire purpose lies in being able to help others succeed. And that's why I created the Purpose to Result Success Without Social program. You have a purpose, and I help you get the results that you want and that God has called you to. There's no other program like it. It's one-stop business growth coaching. We go deep into your purpose, your personal brand, what differentiates you, your soulmate clients, your systems and processes, your website, your message, your online presence, your visibility, search engine optimization, sales and PR, marketing, and so much more. There's no stone left unturned. It is truly unique, and the Holy Spirit guides me in each interaction with you and all my clients. I seek him for the help. And he never disappoints me. I get butterflies in my stomach when I think about how amazing it truly is to help others see such incredible God-led transformation. I always say together we go farther and together we can create that ripple effect of good in the world. And it's so true. If you are ready to take a deep dive into your business to explore solutions and strategies for faster growth with simplicity, Let's chat. Schedule a free consultation with me. You can go to https colon slash slash bit.ly B-I-T dot L-Y slash discover with Robin. The link will be in the show notes. Don't worry. You don't have to remember that if you don't have a pen and paper handy. There's no obligation whatsoever, but you'll have my eyes on your business and we can see if we're a good fit to work together. I do, of course, have my high ticket six month one-to-one -one coaching program, but I also have other things available to you. The VIP day, as well as the Success Without Social Business Growth Academy. And you can register for that by clicking the link in the show notes. We don't even have to get on a call. You can join 
if you feel like it's the right fit for you. The Academy is a high touch but lower cost group program. Inside the Academy, Academy, we customize recommendations for you and your business. We meet weekly and you have the opportunity to build relationships with like-minded business owners for referral and collaboration opportunities. You get to enjoy business growth in a safe and fun environment. You don't have to feel vulnerable or afraid to ask questions. We're all there to support each other and to grow together. The Academy is a $1,500 investment for a lifetime, lifetime of business growth strategy and coaching. There's no end date because I believe there is always something to learn. Lastly, if you just want to test the waters and see what it's like to work with me, you can book a one-on-one -on -one strategy and transformation session. We will take a detailed look at your business and then we'll have a one-to-one -one discussion about my findings, what I see, the areas that maybe you're not noticing that could produce significant transformation for you to attract more clients and make more money. I'll share those recommendations and strategies so that you can begin implementation immediately. Friends, that's a wrap. I hope you enjoyed the episode and I hope that you find a sense of peace and security with asking for help and guidance going forward. It's always available to you through the Holy Spirit. And listen, I'm always here for you too. If you have a question or if you just want to drop a request for topics for episodes, send me an email, info at therobingram.com. All right, I appreciate you. I love you and I will see you next time.